Uh, this one hasn't been changed. This is uh, stock textures. Original house. Yep, original house. Oh my god, we found a desert eagle. Welcome to the video, my friends. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Big news, Experimental Update 1.09 for DayZ was launched on the Experimental servers, bringing with it the Desert Eagle pistol with attachments and the revolver. Long awaited, the Desert Eagle obviously we have seen via the modding community for quite some time, but it's officially in with proper animations as well as the revolver. We've also seen the addition of flagpoles and flags for your bases, seven new exterior and interior variants for rural houses, which we will be taking a look at, new police ADA 4x4 Rex Op for Livonia, which uh, I haven't seen, but will, you know, might not show in this video, but, you know, we'll leave something for you guys to explore and, and discover yourselves, and information to items as to how many you can stack. So you can stack now uh, 10 sticks in a fireplace, for instance, a load of bug fixes, fixed several exploits to glitches through collisions. You've also fixed a collision uh, issue with vehicles being able to pop you through base walls and things like that so there's a lot of good good fixes in here uh, we'll leave them on the screen for you to take a look and uh, a load of changes as well 10 wooden sticks in a fireplace which we mentioned armbands no longer stackable on your arm so you just put one on door vehicle wrecks open wider now so it's a little bit of a longer animation but that's because the doors do actually open wider now to easily access what's inside Balanced dispersion values for pistols. I didn't quite get to check this out too much. I did fire the Desert Eagle, as you'll see in the footage on screen. Did a few tests against some dummies and some infected. And, you, you know, testing out the suppressor, but we'll, we'll touch on that a bit later on. Of course, I do live stream these whenever it happens. I do have a schedule, 6 p.m. UK time on a Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Of course, uh, this Wednesday uh, of the making of this video, I won't be live because I'm trying to get this video out. So it'll probably be pushed back to Thursday following this video. So hopefully you can see you guys there. Give me a follow on Twitch. All links in the description below. I am back streaming. A lot of people don't realize, but I am back. So check me out. Watch me live. And we have some good times and check out new stuff and play some other games as well. Not just DayZ, but mostly DayZ. Of course, if you want to see more in detail, in depth stats for weapons, go and check out Wobo's new video where he goes totally in depth more than I ever would or could. I don't have the, I don't have the know-how and, and the tools he has and he can show you the proper damage specs and it's a really really good video he's done for the desert eagle and he'll be doing one for the magnum as well shortly i'll leave links to webo's video in the description below do not hesitate to check that out if you know who webo is do you know who webo is? yeah you know who webo is anyway let's move on to the gameplay footage as we can see here we're taking a look at the desert eagle comes in two color variants the silver standard and then the more rare i hope golden version and these can be found in your rural civilian houses this is where i found mine on the live experimental servers of course i went into the community offline tools to spawn them in to do some more tests and shoot some dummy players and some infected and check out the attachments as it does have the ability to attach a pistol scope and a suppressor also it's not quite as loud as i would like the deagle the, the magnum's pretty pretty good I'm, I'm quite happy with the magnum as far as i can see you cannot do the russian roulette with the magnum though that is something I believe some rack has mentioned that they are looking into, but it's not there just yet. So sadly, we can't just pop one in the uh, in the gun and then rotate the barrel and bop, you know, the chamber, the uh, cylinder. That's what it's called, <laughs> and uh, pass it to somebody else and play play uh, play a game of Russian roulette. We can't do that just yet, but it is something they're looking into. But uh, yeah, the Magnum's so good to have it in, so so good, it's so good. The animations are so sweet, so slick. You know how much I've missed the Magnum. It's my go-to pistol. And uh, the Desert Eagle as well, in officially, which is so nice to have. So we've got some gameplay here, and you can see you can shoot the Desert Eagle pretty far with that scope. Uh, Webo's video, he says you can shoot 600 meters pretty accurately, and it's the most powerful pistol. But the fire rate is a bit slower. Quite a lot of kick. Quite a lot of kick on the weapons. As you can see here, I'm not moving the mouse down to compensate for recoil. We're just letting the gun pop up. We can see a nice chunk of uh, recoil there, so there's going to be a lot of recoil compensation. You're going to have to do if you're in a gunfight and a bit of panic and firing those shots off as quick as you possibly can. Here as well, I am also pressing fire, on um, left mouse click, as fast as I probably possibly can to get you an idea of how fast these actually fire. So this is as fast as I could click, and, you know, that's that's pretty much the, the speed you're going to be shooting. Of course, other pistols like the FNX and things like that, CR-75, are faster to fire, but you're not going to get that bang. So two shots to the chest, I believe, was a kill. Not obviously testing for uh, vests. Uh, I should think a plate carrier, maybe about three or four, uh, just off the top of my head. But of course, we will find this out 
in a live test. I didn't meet any players to shoot with uh, when I had the Desert Eagle. Um, maybe that will come, a bit of PvP with it. That's, uh, you know, real life PvP scenario is always good to have with the new weapons and we get a true feel for it in its handling and what it can actually do damage wise. Other than that, new textures for several buildings. We found some of these. There are some we've missed as well as the textures for the cars, the new looks for the uh, Olga Police on Chernares and Livonia. Uh, for the 4x4 as well in Livonia. But the buildings, we took uh, a load of screenshots during the stream. And yeah, the buildings are nice. They look a lot more natural, a lot more, you know, less colourful, a bit more dreary. And uh, interior changes, of course, which looks like they've taken uh, some ideas from expansion mod, maybe. I don't know. It looks very familiar. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice change. And seeing that we've still got the original look of the houses, but we've also got slightly changes of colour. So it's not so bright a green on the greenhouse. It's a more darker, woodier, worn out, wood effect and then there's more different you know types of decoration inside the house and it looks like it's an undergoing or was undergoing some kind of decoration uh, when the outbreak happened the infected came and uh, stopped the decoration mid process decoration did i just say i apologize i may have missed a couple of houses with new textures and furniture layouts and things like that but you may be uh, you know find them yourselves i don't want to spoil too much as always and, uh, you know, it's uh, pretty nice to see different low layouts. Uh, I did notice some issues, though, with clipping. If an item is clipped inside uh, an object, you cannot see it in vicinity. And you've got to be lucky enough to kind of get to a point where you can press F to pick up kind of thing. It doesn't show in vicinity. So that's something the dev team do definitely need to look into. Of course, there are always issues with these updates on experimental and then they're fixed for stable. I'm pretty sure we did notice some other new things that isn't mentioned in the changelog. But there always usually is some sneaky little inserts in there. So uh, let me know if you noticed anything else that you're pretty sure is new, but wasn't actually in the changelog. It's always interesting to see little sneaky, sneaky bits that they've added that we didn't really know about. Uh, but let me know if it was in already, and I'm just blind and never found it before. But yeah, it's uh, some pretty cool stuff. And I'm looking forward to the future of Daisy, as always. Uh, the one thing, you know, of, of course, that we always talk about on stream and in the videos when we get to is there's so much more content uh, Hicks actually tweeted out an image the other day from Daisy TV, which actually caught me off guard. I thought Daisy TV was back, but it wasn't. Of the shotgun, one of the shotguns that, you know, was being worked on to get into Daisy back before uh, Infusion in Legacy. Never made it in Legacy, but there's so many weapons, so many weapons. And there's, there's a lot of them not in game that's in the files still the M249, the tasers, the dart gun. And that's just off the top of my head. There's so many, so many guns we've been teased with that have not arrived. And hopefully they all start coming through. Um, you know, after this update, we start getting a trickle in of content because variety is key. If we can keep getting that variety in with Daisy and the more guns, the more options we have to go into PvP or just survive against the wilderness, the, the wild, the bears, the wolves, the infected, uh, the better it will be for everybody. Uh, content and... Uh, options is always a good thing in the apocalypse uh, that's my take on it anyway but uh, i hope you enjoyed 109 let me know in the comments below if you found anything interesting that i haven't covered in today's video this little showcase taking a look at the update i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you want to enjoy the video i made i want to see more i don't know what i'm saying but one thing i do know is that i love you all and i'll see you peeps next time that looks a slightly different color not so yellow? Or am I just low on blood? No, I'm not low on blood. Like, that looks different. It, it looks like it's different texture. To me. Anybody verify? If, it, if it's not just me. Yeah, that's different. So good, you can add... Uh, 10 sticks now. Love these little fireplaces as well. 108 these were added, but never really used one, so pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, no, no, no! I told you he'd sneak on me. What did I say?